Happy first day of March! Today we have information about the Suicide Assembly. I'm Kara and I'm Asin and SBTV starts now. Tomorrow, there will be a suicide assembly during seminar. We talked to some leadership class students to learn more about it. So when is the assembly going to be held? The assembly is going to be held on March 2nd during seminar from 1015 to 11. And what should we expect out of this assembly? Um, we, there's going to be two speakers that are going to be there. There's going to be Ms. Annie Diedrich and she's going to come in and talk about the yellow ribbon training and just like her own story and then a woman named Osara Misha, who is a suicide survivor, and she's gonna come in and tell her story and how her life has been affected. And then we're also gonna speak about the statistics of what we gathered from the Google Form survey. What do you want the kids to get out of this? I would like them to learn that people are there for them, that there are resources that they can obtain, that people there are, this is a really small world and that there are people alike, <laughs> like them all around them and that they're going through the same thing. We want them to gain an understanding of students supporting students and that while you can talk to the school about your problems and things that are going on around you, there are also students around that can relate to what you're talking about and that can help you through what you're going through and we also like we want people to know that it's a topic that we're not just going to like push under the rug, that it's something that we do want to be addressed and that we want to be have talked about. Not only is the class putting on an assembly, but also they raise money for the suicide prevention hotline. We just really love for people to come and support the event and the speakers there because they're taking time out of their day, we're taking time out of our day, and it's we know it's like a tough subject for people, but we want it to be known that it's important and it's important to the people that are talking it's important to the people that are going and we would love if you would come the assembly is not mandatory stay in your seminar if you don't want to go now for your news the ffa ag team took third in yesterday's contest congratulations to the two members that placed in the top 10 the SHS Bank is taking applications from sophomores. Feel free to stop by and pick one up. Interviews will be during this week. For $1, International Thespian Society will be selling messages next week during lunch and at the show. You can send a message to your friend in the cast or on the crew for good luck. The Norris Nook will be open on March 9th during all four lunches for students to buy Viking apparel. After this commercial break, we'll go over to sports. I just get a large caramelized coffee. Well, off to class. You can't go yet. You have to fix this terrible parking job. Oh, gee. Thanks. Forget about the parking. Just go on to class. You don't want to be late. But the person next to you isn't going to be able to park. Who cares? He's going to be late to class. You know what? I should fix it. You got to do the right thing. See ya, devil. No. Be courteous to other students. Park in your assigned spot. Be a Viking.
Basel will be hosting a dodgeball tournament on Saturday at the middle school. Entry fee is $36 per team. We asked the bowler how they think state will go. Let's go learn more about it. How's the season going? So the season's gone really well. We placed second at Centennial League and then first at regionals, which is a really good sign for state because we're like up against two of the best teams in the state in our region, that being Shawnee Heights and Topeka West. And so to finally beat them means that we're on the same level as them, especially since we won state last year. We need to repeat, you know, to hold our dominance in the region. How do you think state will go? I think that we have a really good shot to win state. Shawnee Heights and Topeka West have been the two heavy hitters all season, but uh, like they've proved they can't really bowl well on tougher conditions, and we can. So, you know, we're right in the mix. So I really hope they have a bad day and, you know, we have a good day. So, oh, and so overall, I think it'll go really well, actually. When is state? Uh, state is Friday, March 2nd, 10 a.m. for the boys and 2 p.m. for the girls. Do you know who's all going to state? Um, out of our regional, it'll be Topeka West and Shawnee Heights. And then out of the other regionals, I believe Great Bend is going, and then some teams from Wichita. And then on our varsity squad, it's I, Clayton Mumford, Kyle Dendosh, Sturgis Streeter, DJ Birkenbaugh, and Trenton Turkin. Good luck to those competing at state tomorrow. Now let's go see what today's weather will be. What's poppin' bikes? It is currently 51 degrees and tonight it will drop about 20 degrees and get kind of chilly. And now for your SVTV three day forecast, you have highs in the 50s and 60s and lows in the 30s and 40s and Saturday looks like you'll get some cloud cover and Saturday, sorry, Sunday looks like you're going to have a chance of rain. Now today in history, it is Justin Bieber's birthday and it's National Peanut Butter Day. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to come out to the assembly. It will be an educational experience. That's all we have for today, Bikes. Make sure you have a great rest of your day. Just